Hi, welcome to Farm Motion YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we're gonna talk about electric mountain bike. So here we are in the Moose Mountain in Alberta. We're gonna show you how this electric mountain bike work on this hill here. Stay tuned and follow me for the uphill ride. Hi, welcome to beautiful Moose Mountain here in Alberta. So this area is specialized in mountain bike and trail bike. So what I have here is basically is a converted mountain bike. So we've been partnered with a company called Silverback. They've been providing us the mountain bike. So we're taking a Silverback mountain bike and then convert it with the Baffin BBS CO2 750 watt motor. So I'm gonna tell you more detail, but I'm gonna start off with the bike first in terms of the spec, and I'm gonna get into the mid-drive system later on. So what I have here is a Silverback Stride 275D mountain bike. This is basically is an entry level price point is around $600 uh, Canadian retail price, just the bike itself. But it has a really, really nice component like hydraulic bike. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the component of this particular bike it has. Um, so start from the top. First of all, it has a really good uh, locking grip, especially when you're riding on a mountain bike. You don't want your hand slipping. You want to keep your hand grip uh, stay in place. Then you have a very, very nice uh, hydraulic brake, so it provides you really, really good stomping power. It has eight speed. Um, originally, it actually is a three by eight, so that's a uh, 24 speed. Uh, because we're going into the conversion with the mid-drive, we actually have to give out the front derailleur. Going to the front fork, it has a zoom 100 millimeter travel distance um, uh, suspension fork. So it has a very nice tire. It's a 27, 27 uh, and a half wheel size. This is okay tire, um, especially when you're going on a mountain bike. It's a little bit more lighter track. I would have liked to have a much more aggressive uh, track if I'm really actually riding on a mountain bike here. So it has a really, really nice color. I really like this specifically orange color. So uh, next I'm gonna go over the mid-drive system. All right, so on the mid-drive system, it's basically it's a buffing BBS 02750 watt. Uh, so what we have is just a basic um, uh, monocom uh, display. Uh, so when you turn it on, it provide you um, your power indicator, your mileage, odometer, and everything. So you have a power on and off button, and then you have a plus and minus button right here. So uh, basically, we actually custom tune the um, configuration of the system. So on this particular configuration, we actually have nine level assist. So if I hit the plus side, and it just keep, I can keep go all the way to up to nine level. So I can engage my motor by hitting the um, push throttle right here. So I can engage the motor uh, right here. But at the same time, uh, this Pacific uh, mid drive also have pedal sensing. So I can either use the uh, thumb throttle to engage the motor, or I can just basically paddle and be able to activate the motor. So basically this is where the motor goes. It's called the bottom bracket motor. So uh, when we do the conversion, we basically take out the original bottom bracket and replace it with the mid drive motor right here. And then right here we have the uh, lithium battery. So this is a 48 volt lithium battery and uh, here in Power and Motion, we actually offer three different types of battery. Um, just because some people, they're just basically casual riding, they don't need a lot of distance. So we offer uh, 48 volt, 7 amp hour, approximately about 300 watt hour. We also, the second uh, option, which is a 48 volt, 8.7 amp hour, which is around 400 watt, watt hour. And this particular one that I have is a 48 volt, uh, 10.5 amp hour, which is around 500 watt hour. So people who need to commute to go to work and day in, day out, you know, using the e-bike five days a week. So I would suggest those people should pick a bigger battery. Uh, and then if people just basically wanted to just have a casual riding, they don't usually go more than 20 kilometer, then get a smaller battery. Uh, one thing I really want to highlight is the chain ring. Uh, it already has some sort of a protecting guard here or chain guard in here. Um, I don't remember the T, but it's probably around 44 tooth uh, in here. But depending what you need, we power in here in the power motion, we can actually change out a customized chain ring. So depending whether you want to do more hill climbing 
or if you want a more higher speed we can change out the chain ring to accommodate uh, what the requirement is but I just really want to highlight that those are cust customizable so next part, I really want to talk about who is this bike for and why would you want to have an electric mountain bike I mean at first it really dawn, didn't dawn on me I, just, I, I really asked myself like why would anybody want an electric mountain bike well so Again, I'm not a mountain biker, and uh, you know, I spoke to some of my friends who is a mountain biker. The typical thing for mountain biking is you generally have a group of people, and then you drive the car up the top of the hill, and then you ride down the hill, and then you have another friend that basically drive the car down to the bottom of the hill. Actually, this is actually quite common. So if you have the electric, you can actually ride it up the hill without having a lift. I mean, obviously, it would be nice if you uh, go to certain um, recreational park that has lift. But if you go to a trail like here, there's no facility for a lift except you get somebody else to drive you up the hill and then meet you down on the hill. Or you can ride up the hill and then just ride back down. But you can only ride a few times because if you constantly have to go up the hill, you're going to be exhausted. You're not going to be able people last a day some of the mountain biker that you know love the mountain biking and just hate to ride up the hill this is uh the customer this is the bike for you but the other type of group with people is just basically people who want to ride a, ride a mountain bike they want to ride it in the city so uh they just want to have the feel and look of the mountain bike so people who want to ride it in urban but still want a mountain bike style this is kind of the bike for them all right, the last thing I really want to talk about, uh, maybe a little bit of negative or maybe, you know, certain feature that um, I may not like, uh, or maybe some other people it's okay. But if I'm not telling you about the negative, uh, then I'm not doing a good review. So I really want to touch base on some of the negative. The first thing is um, because it's a mid drive. So what that means is you have to keep up your front derailleur. Um, so as a result, there's no front derailleur. So originally, there's three speed in the front. So when you're doing the conversion with the mid drive, you have to give up. The second thing is have nothing to do with the um, the mid drive component, but have um, to do with the tire. I just think the this particular bike uh, again, you know, depending which bike you're gonna pick. But on this particular bike, the tire is somewhat little bit more ball. Uh, perfect for city riding, but if you're gonna take this bike to um, um, truly mountain biking you definitely want to have a little bit more knobby tire to get more traction all right that's it for this video i hope you enjoy our video i hope i provide you enough information about the e-mountain bike uh, with the conversion kit um, so if you do enjoy our video be sure to give us a thumbs up or subscribe our video and if you're interested about electric mountain bike uh, be sure to come by our store and we have demo bike for you to test ride them uh, thank you for watching.